A woman is in custody tonight accused of killing her 16-year-old daughter. 49-year-old star Lena Blevins Moore is charged with second-degree murder. Authorities say she gave her daughter Kaylin Moore prescription pills that were prescribed to the mother. Her daughter was found dead in her bedroom hours after overdosing on the pills. ABC 17's Ashley Strohmeyer learned this isn't the first child of Blevins Moore to die from an overdose. The Marys County Sheriff, Chris Heitman, tells me Starletta Blevins Moore has 10 children. Two of them have died from prescription drug overdose. The sheriff says the 16 year old died on Christmas Eve of last year, but Blevins Moore was arrested just yesterday. Marys County Sheriff Chris Heitman says when they found Kaylin Moore, it was apparent she had died from an accidental overdose. Ultimately, what, what the mom did, she, she provided the, the controlled substances, the drugs to the daughter, and and, and now she's dead. Heitman also tells me it was not uncommon for Blevins Moore and her daughter to do drugs together. We get out there last night, and guess what? There's still drug paraphernalia out there. There's still snorting pills. There's still lines on the table. The death of her daughter did not stop what was going on in that house. He also says when they found her daughter dead on Christmas Eve, Blevins Moore was nowhere to be found. We looked everywhere, and uh, it, was, it was late that evening before we ever talked to her. Heitman expects more charges to come down on Blevins Moore. Not only was she supplying drugs to her daughter, the sheriff says Blevins Moore allowed her to date a 23-year-old, which in Missouri is statutory rape. There was also a 10-year-old child in the home at the time of the overdose. The sheriff tells me that child is now staying with a family member. In the Jefferson City Newsroom, Ashley Strohmeyer, ABC 17 News. Blevin Moore had her first court appearance today. Her next court date is February 14th. If she's found guilty of second-degree murder, she faces up to 30 years in prison.